Hello, my name is Stephen John and I'm the Director of Theatre Design and Production here at Interlochen Arts Academy. Often, I take brand new students, freshmen in high school, and I say, congratulations, you're an electrician. And they say, ah, what does that mean? And I explain what it means, and they say, what tools do I need? And I say, perfect, because that's the right answer. I never want my kids, my students, or anybody that I hire to show up without at least a bare minimum of tools. So I show them what I carry, and they don't have to have all of it, but these are some good things to have with you. The first, absolute first thing, that you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have are a decent pair of gloves. These are heat rated, they're actually um, leather on the bottom so that when I'm working with an instrument like this that gets very, very hot, I'm not gonna burn my hands. I can take it apart. I've actually got some ability to move my hands through that and actually deal with small screws and things with these. You'll find that often electricians will cut off the ends of maybe the index finger so they can really get into something and deal with fine, fine set screws and things. There's nothing wrong with that, just be aware you now lost a little bit of protection from the heat of the actual instrument. But good gloves, good gloves are really important. One of the things that I always carry with me, no matter where I'm at, is a great flashlight. This is a Phoenix. It's a really great, beautiful flashlight. I've destroyed these before, or tried to, and they've actually lasted really, really well. This one I've had for about five years, and is always great. It's always on my side. Looking to my actual pack, the thing that's gonna be probably the most useful to me is my C-Wrench or an adjustable wrench. It's really simple. You do not need a very large one. This one is an eight inch. This is the largest you need. I've seen guys show up on site and they're showing up to their job and they've got like a 10 or a 12 inch wrench. A, it's heavy, it weighs you down, a long day of working when you're carrying that around. Also, it's too big. You can actually get too much torque on it and you can snap off a bolt really easy with a larger C wrench. Six inch, eight inch, the biggest you need. I throw a bungee on this as my safety. You'll see people on the job have clips that go to their belt, go to wherever. Those are always great, and this one fits in my pocket perfectly. Moving forward, I always carry a tape measure just because sometimes on a long batten, I wanna know from center, this, is, this light is gonna hang out 14 feet from center, so I wanna measure it, knock it off, and I'm good. Tape measure's great. Always a Sharpie, at least. Try and have a couple on them because somebody's gonna steal. I always look at some angle cutters. These ones are just mine. These have been around with me for probably 15 years and are great. The other piece that is probably the most important thing is an 11 in one screwdriver. This piece right here, it pops out. It's got a, two ends, two different sizes, and then this comes out on the other side and it's the same thing. Um, you can also, there's a hex head uh, adjustment right here so you can actually pull stuff off for that. An 11 to 1 is great. Um, there's a couple other things that I keep in it but you definitely don't need them. This little guy is my happy friend. This is a volt alert meaning I can actually touch a cable and know if there's live current to it which is wonderful especially when I'm troubleshooting. Um, I also have grease pens in here and paint pens and then I have little wire cutters that go down to different gauges. Nice and simple. The bare minimum of what I take on any job when I'm an electrician or a master electrician is what's right here. I have a bigger kit, but really, if you're getting hired just to hang lights for the day or focus, that's what you need. Good luck. Hope you have a great day and be safe. Bye-bye.